Hi, it's Anthony in Reno. I'm at the Westgate Lodge in Park City, Utah, where I had a speaking gig today. And I want to share just one insight with you that I noticed today that I want to reiterate. I've written about it before, but it's the difference between fear and the real danger. In this case, a salesperson struggled to make a call to a client because that client has stalled their deal. It's taken a lot longer than it should have. And they're afraid that by making this call that they're going to somehow alienate the prospective client, that they're going to damage the relationship in some way. And they're worried about losing that opportunity by actually making a call following up. But that's not the real danger. The real danger is by not making that call and by not following up. He doesn't serve his company. He doesn't serve himself. And he certainly doesn't serve the client who's trying to get a better result, but having a difficult time doing it inside their own company. So the real danger is in not taking action. He thinks the danger is in taking action. And I see this behavior regularly, and you do too. Somebody has a higher price. And they don't want to talk about the higher price until deep into the sales process, hoping that the client will accept it later on after they've had a chance to create enough value and hopefully when they have the relationship. But the real danger is springing the price on them at the end of the process when you haven't had a chance to really justify the delta and explain what they're paying more for. And they get the sticker shock and they have a bunch of people on their team looking at this saying, why are we paying a higher price for this when we saw other competitive offerings that had a lower price? So the real fear is I don't want to show them this price because I might lose the business. But the real danger is that by not sharing it, you do lose the, the business. You lose the opportunity. That's just the way it works. So there's a difference between the fear and the real danger. And you're always better served by dealing with the danger and not the fear. That means you have to step through your fear. You have to take some action that you're worried about or you think that's going to somehow harm you and think, what's the greater opportunity here for me? The greater opportunity is to step through that fear and deal with the real danger because all the results you want are on the other side. I'm Anthony Anarino from the Winter Wonderland. That is the Westgate Lodge in Park City, Utah. This is, uh, as I promised, a video every day, regardless of the conditions, regardless of the lighting, which is not great, regardless of the tool that I have to record that on, in this case, a 7 Plus. And here's your video every day.